The fisheries stakeholder meeting on fuel bank rain services for marine fishing vessels brought to four challenges in the sector. Key amongst these were regulations for the industry, cost of fish due to some vessels not going to sea, depreciation of the city, taxes on fuel, payment of permit fee in dollars, among others. Board Secretary for Ghana Industrial Trawlers Association, Nanao Yeman Ufureni says, currently, one has to spend about 2.4 million cities on a vessel per trip. He says, vessels have not worked for about five months, despite impact on employment, taxes, and other benefits. If you have about 22 seamen, that's Ghanaian seamen on a vessel, Process Patrice, you are looking at something close to about 30. And you are paying all of them. The seamen are on contract, so for four months that they haven't gone to sea, they've not been paid. But if you are like me, you get worried. When they are even working full time and you pay them, the monies are not able to sustain them. So when somebody to, you have somebody to go and stay at home for four months and it's not being paid, then you don't know when your vessel is going to get ready to go. It is a concern. Not for even the owner as, as, a, as a business owner, but workers. Minister for Fisheries and Aquaculture Development, Mavis Hawakumsin, assured that a meeting involving Goyal, affected parties, finance, energy and transport ministries will be held to address these concerns. We will prefer that the industry deals with company that is permitted by the authority to do bunkering at sea. Why? Because um, the authority frowns at uh, illegal transshipment and activities on sea. And it also gives way to piracy. I need to liaise with the finance ministry, the transport ministry, energy ministry, and all the agencies that are involved. So I cannot give timeline right now. But that's the assurance I'm giving that we're going to work on it. Head of Technical and Special Products at Goyle, John Tegu, indicated that such engagements help in getting feedback and appropriate responses to issues of their customers. So I, I'm very sure that with the education, they should be able to understand how prices are determined and now uh, they can be well informed. And in this case, they, they will realize that goal is there not to make excessive profit out of them, but rather, if I may call it, subsidizing the products in such a way that the customer may, may not be uh, worse off. Meanwhile, South African High Commissioner to Ghana, Grace Mason, sees the fishing industry as a catalyst for development. In the ocean's economy, Honorable Minister, is a catalyst for development of our continent. A catalyst for development in this sector of our ocean's economy and for the trajectory of the African continental free trade area. The opportunities that it provides. Other stakeholders, including Ghana Maritime Authority and Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority, were present.